In this video, I am going to measure the mass and the volume of these four objects. They are identical in terms of the material that they're composed of, and it will be your job to use the obtained data to calculate the density of the four objects. So I'm going to start in order, starting with this piece, then this piece next, this piece, and then this piece last for the mass, and then I'll do the same thing for taking the volume. So the mass is in grams. This is piece number one. Here is the second piece. The third piece. in the last piece. Now I'm gonna take a graduated cylinder, 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. And I am going to, for each piece, I'm going to start with the initial volume at around 50 milliliters, 50.0 milliliters. Let me go ahead and start. Again, I'm going to start with the small piece and then I'm going to work my way up to the largest piece, piece number four. Here is the second piece now. Again, I put it at 50.0 milliliters. Piece number three. Again, it's at 50.0 milliliters. And now the final piece, again, it's at 50.0 milliliters, and this is the fourth piece, the largest piece. When 
Well, now you have the data for all four pieces of the same substance. Now using the measurements, take that and calculate the density from the mass and volume of these objects. If you're interested at obtaining the mass using a triple beam balance, then watch the video right here. If there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.